Crosslinking is the most exciting new treatment option for patients with keratoconus. It has caused an absolute paradigm shift in the way we address keratoconus uh, patients who are not able to tolerate contact lenses and conservative treatments. It can stop the clock and as a result can prevent the need for corneal transplantation. Uh, if the keratoconus continues even after collagen cross-linking, which by the way doesn't occur often, the, the success rate of collagen cross-linking is upwards of 95%. But if it does progress and continues, cross-linking can be repeated and there is evidence that that could again uh, slow the progression. If it continues regardless, corneal transplantation can still be done. And some actually propose, even in patients who are candidates for corneal transplantation at this moment, should possibly consider cross-linking to freeze the progression of keratoconus outside of the transplant. But that's still up for discussion.